hello there so we are creating here a vector program so creating vector program firstly we will need a header file which is a vector and we have to include this vector file if we are using vector in our main program for uh, introducing a vector what is the syntax syntax is uh, the return below syntax for vector okay so syntax is firstly we write vector after that we write the type of the uh, data type of that vector that is which type of variable it will store uh, are that integer or uh, character if you want to store characters you can write here characters if you want to store uh, character then you can write character for example you write character but in case uh, I uh, here is storing integers so we will write integer so we have created here two variables of integer uh, data type first one is element and other one is size so what the size is storing size is storing the size of your vector that how much bigger or how much element it can store so now we are storing our element to the vector how we can store so remember always that our vector are similar like arrays that is we can store them like array but the main difference between our array and vector is vectors are resizable while the array we cannot resize firstly you will have to take the input from user after uh, taking the input you will use a iterator or a loop and by using loop you will uh, store your values to the uh, vectors okay so firstly we, what we will do uh, now we will ask the user to enter the value enter the element of vector okay so we will uh, tell the user to enter the element of vector and now we will store them into our element now what we have to do now in that in this case uh, if you will see this point here we have stored the element in element a variable now what we have to do We'll call our vec1 dot push back. Remember that th this is an inbuilt function which is included in our uh, hashtag include vector already, and that function is push back. What it does, it includes the uh, variable or stores the variable to our vector. So push back and what value you want to store is in the in this case we want to store element we'll write here element and this will work properly okay uh, here we have included it now we just write here return and okay sorry a mistake return zero and before it we will display it so display back one and now we will create a vec, vec uh, display function to display the vector so uh, the type of this mm, display function will be void as we know we, we don't have to return any value what will it, it take it will take a vector so how we can write here to take a vector we have to write the same line here so we will just copy it and we will paste it here now the thing we can change is we will write here v and we will take the address of this v ok so that uh, it work properly ok so now what we will do uh, as we did here we used a loop now similarly we will use a loop for uh, this program Firstly, we will write C out and we will write displaying displaying the vector element. 
displaying the vector elements okay and we'll yeah yes we'll use end up and after that we'll use for loop inside it we will use i equals to zero and here we will use another uh, inbuilt function which is included in vector that is size what is that size uh, v dot size what it returns it returns the size of that vector which we have given the value from here it will return v dot size will return the size of that vector so remember this okay so uh, i is less than v dot size and will increment i so this is our condition and what we'll do now uh, we will <coughs> show our vector so c out and v element at i position we will show here and then we will give some space and after that this and at the end after this uh, loop we will use uh, handle to jump into next line and I think this program should run now uh, properly let's check it out so yes enter the size of your uh, vector so I will enter here four size okay so enter the element of vector firstly I enter one then two then three then four now you can see displaying the vector element one two three four so another function we can use here and that is mm, pop back so if you want to pop an element from your vector you can use simply pop back uh, in build function which pop your element but remember always in vector uh, how you pop it's like uh, lifo algorithm it works on lifo algorithm that is last in first out the whatever element you will enter in last time that will uh, remove from your um, vector in first so in our example here we have entered 4 uh, so 4 is our last variable so if you use here uh, vec1 dot pop and pop back remember always while we are using push back we were uh, giving an argument which we have to push into a vector but in case of pop we don't need to uh, give an argument here some people did mistakes they also give here element but that's not right because we are popping an element we are not pushing that okay so we'll just uh, run this program what we are expecting we are expecting that 4 will uh, disappear from our vector let's check it out so we will again call our uh, display function so that we can see that is it removed from our vector or not let's check it out okay so firstly it's uh, we'll enter here size 4 and then we'll enter elements now you can see for this line when it was here the elements of the vector were 1 2 3 4 but after popping back it become 1 2 3 now you can see it's becoming totally right okay so it's, you can understand it now okay that's fine now what if you want to uh, insert element into this uh, vector how you can insert an element into it so for inserting an element what you have to do we use insert function but before using insert function we will have to uh, define iterator so what are the iterator iterator are basically a pointer which points to the uh, element of a vector which points to the element of a vector a specific element it uh, points uh, it's like a pointer uh, we have already studied about uh, linked list so as in linked list we were creating a, a pointer which points to the data of linked list or by that 
pointer we were traversing the uh, link list similarly we will do here we will use an iterator by which we can uh, traverse our vector so we'll see how we can do that so what's the syntax for our uh, syntax for our iterator so we'll write syntax syntax for iterator so here is the syntax for iterator so firstly we write vector after that the data type of that vector and scope position operator then we will write iterator iterator and name of that iterator for here we will use iter and we will initialize it that how or where it is pointing in our vector so we will use our begin uh, remember always that there is a function begin which is already included in our um, <coughs> vector file that begin is the function which points to the first element of our vector okay zeroth index element uh, it will point so how we can use it vec one dot begin now where it will be pointing suppose if we have uh, if you have our vec vec one like this uh, in this element are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now where it will be pointing? It will be pointing on it will be pointing on here. It will be pointing on this position. Uh, here it will be pointing on 1. Suppose the vector. Uh, suppose the we have created a pointer and it will be pointing on this position. So basically, this is the way by which you can point your vector. Now here it will be pointing. Okay, I did a mistake here, but it's not right here. And yes. So this is how you can see or understand it while writing this back one dot begin we are creating a pointer which is pointing on the first element of our vector. So now we can see the pointer is pointing the first element of a vector. Now if you want to uh, insert an element or at first position you can use it but if you want to store or insert element at second position you can write iter plus one if you write iter plus one what will happen this will move to here and our pointer will our pointer will move to second position now you can insert element in second position as well so what you have to do if you want to firstly we will see for first position okay then we can again do that same thing for second position as well okay so how we can uh, insert element so for inserting element what you have to write you write back one dot insert and inside the bracket the most important thing here uh, comes which is firstly you will write iter if you are inserting the first position because we have initialized our iter at first position <clears throat> so if you want to insert the element at first position you can write like this iter but if you want to insert the element at second position you can write plus one that means iter is at first position and plus one means at second position it will move and now you, what you have to write comma what element you want to store here for example i want to store 23 okay i have stored it 23 here now what I have to do, I will repeat the same steps uh, back one. I will display it again in this position. Okay, so here we are uh, displaying our function after using back one insert function. Okay, here come a mistake. We have written here where, but back one. Okay, let's see. 
size of vector so we will write size 4 element 1 2 3 4 ok now you can see what happened actually firstly we write 1 2 3 4 and it displayed 1 2 3 4 for this line after that it popped element 4 because it was at uh, top so it's it popped 4 and then it showed uh, or 1 2 3 after that it inserted the element 23 at second position because we return here uh, insert iter plus 1 okay so this was all about insert function now another thing or another uh, benefit of insert I can see suppose you want to store the copy of element suppose you want to store uh, 23 four times how you can insert four times 23 in same position what do you have to do just write here 4 now it will store 4 times 23 let's see enter the size of array 4 and 1 2 3 4 see it has stored 4 times 1 2 3 4 so that's all for today uh, almost every topic we have completed here of vector and this was all about vector so before using vector you have to ensure that uh, vector includes a header file which is hashtag include vector and if you are not including this file this uh, this program will not work I can see that I can show you okay so I have removed this file now we run this program okay you can see it's so error it will show error so always remember before using it you will have to include the file vector okay so this is enough for today we will meet tomorrow till then take care bye bye